How's it going guys? Midnight Rain here. Today we are going to be taking a look at the abandoned mine and we're going to be going through B4 through 6. I know 1, 2, and 3 are a lot easier so that's kind of why I'm doing this series on B4 through 6. Um, cool thing you'll notice right off the bat about B4 is that, um, let me take a look at the units here to show you off. Uh, they don't have reflect in B4 and the cool thing is that um, you'll in fort you can only use one type of each unit in mines you can use as many as you want so right off the bat everybody kind of nukes with uh, Turiel and Falcon is a great addition because he has his uh, greed trait which allows him to uh, hit when the enemy is defeated uh, now well, mine is exploring, I think, actually. But if you have a built fermata, uh, it's getting kind of laggy because of the recording. Um, he also has the uh, greed trait. So if you have a, a high fermata with good bleed, I don't have it mid mine level 4 yet. I've uh, been neglecting, I've been pulling other units. Uh, really bad leg holy crap but um so most people will one shot uh great units like wukong if you have him he hits uh cross formation which is excellent for the first two stages they will be in perfect cross formation um let me also bring in miho and then i'll just do four strike for uh little giggles there um just want to kind of show like what you can do. I know uh, Turiel and Miho are pretty easy to come by. Falcon and Fermata is not as much, but if you have her built, you can do a bleed in cross formation and then just kind of let them slowly die. Like, I won't even attack and I'll just kind of let them bleed out. Um, so, that's like one strategy you can do. Uh, you can build up enough on nuke. Um, you can also do like a heal here with Miho. And then she can just sustain herself while everything bleeds out. Um, so that's also an idea that you can do. Um, you can also come in and you can just straight up nuke it. Boom. Everything's dead. Um, you can also, if you don't have a high enough attack, you can sleep everything. And then nuke it. <laughs> Which uh, also works very well. So, and then that's uh, another reason why Fermata can be useful is if they do die from the uh, main boss crystal, uh, you can use uh, Fermata's revive, you can use Fire Drag's revive, you can use Tart, and that is why that starter unit is such a keeper. Uh, having that reviver off the bat makes farming B4 uh, a lot simpler, especially if you don't have multiple units that hit cross formation like that. Uh, Pross would also be a good unit to use. Great cross formation hitter. He's great nuker. Um, so yeah, I mean, nuking B4 should be pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, having Falcon certainly helps if you only have one unit, but you can always make do with different kind of combinations. Uh, Miho, certainly easy to get as a four-star. Turiel, great nuker, and you can just use Tart to revive him. And, I mean, that's two waves right off the bat that you don't even have to worry about. And then you could just have, like, uh, Miho burn through the first stage and use heal and then just tank everything. And then the next two stages, just nuke with Turiel and then revive with tart and then nuke again and you you've cleared it and uh b4 is where it starts to drop legend gear i know the rates have been kind of lowered um since the game came out i know when the game came out at first like b4 was like oh my god like tons of legends like every five five runs that's not as much anymore um but that's for balancing uh coming into b5 uh this is where it starts to get a little weird um you'll notice the attacks aren't as good uh, but what really kills you is uh, the stun can kind of be annoying 
and then that chance to reflect 100% of damage with 25% chance. Now, 25% chance, you don't usually want to um, nuke it. I've seen some people nuke it. Um, I think I've nuked it before. I don't think mine can. Uh, it is possible. I think I could do like... Uh, actually, I can use my buddy Key. I'll use him as an example. <laughs> And we'll just kind of show off uh, his Wukong. Hopefully people won't, uh, don't go spamming him <laughs> after this. But this should actually just kind of solo it. Um, unless he changed the uh, equips around. But basically, um, same X formation coming in. And then I can just go with uh, a nuke. And then he'll die. Actually, I just do that. Then nuke. And then uh, oh, I can actually nuke again pretty soon. That's not too bad. But I'll do a revive here. I'll get that Wukong back. My uh, Turiel is not the best, to be honest. I think it does. Um, it does very low for the uh, the crits. I think it's only like twenty eight. 28 k yeah it's like 28k and i mean most people are like 35k to like 100k so i mean there's there's a lot better out there but um i mean it's pretty straightforward for uh b5 there um i can run it again uh that's kind of like how you would nuke it. Um, if you wanted to tank it out, uh, having some immunity in there would help. Um, it's hard because my the units that I have geared are my, my best units. But if you would use things that don't get um, stunned too often or can cleanse off that stun. Um, that's kind of why I have uh, Snowy and Entel in there. Um, you could also do like an Elvrai or, you know, like a Mirai and just kind of let the um, dots kill everything. Uh, that would take a lot longer. Um, I don't want to like make the video too long where it kind of pisses people off. <laughs> But um, that's a basic on what you could do. Um, there's Formata. This is uh, one of my ones I'm going to work on to uh, make mine level 40. But you could do a bleed, and then you could do like Miho, and then tank it out, and then Formata bleed again, and just kind of dot everything. Uh, dots are certainly helpful for uh, PvE content, and they're still very useful in uh, PvP. Um, taking off... The uh, you could put Raiden in top row and debuff the uh, boss. Um, a lot of people overlook that um, Raiden debuffs, and he does. And so it's a pretty useful skill, and it can also put on freeze. I don't think you can uh, freeze the boss though, because the boss can't be dotted. But um, just getting rid of all the little uh, mobs helps. It, it really does. It makes a big difference. Um, so that's what I would do for, uh, B5. Um, going into B6, I use a lot tankier team because I, I don't like to manual, I like to auto. And my team is not exactly 100%, I don't think, but it works for the most part. I think this is the one I use. Um, I think I put Intel on the top. But I think that's the team I use right now. It works pretty well, to be honest. Um, the difference is just kind of... I mean, I, I'm using Legend units, you know what I mean? So... It, it makes a big difference in the, the skills that they have that they can use. 
um, I'll try to like just kind of manual it to keep the speed of the video up and then I'll see if I can go into the book and give some ideas for uh, units that I don't have um, that I would recommend because it would take a while to build everything and it costs a lot of uh, gold right now and it's not free to unequip uh, equips so that kind of makes it difficult for me to do like weird videos so maybe on like a uh, free unequip day I'll go through and have some stick star, uh, six starred units that people don't usually use and then uh, we'll see what we can accomplish you know maybe do like TOT and uh, B6 runs so looking forward to that um yeah I mean it's pretty straightforward in here it's all about kinda of keeping the buffs up um, not sure why it's debuffing there. That's okay. But, uh, you know, kind of with this team, this is like one of my, uh, my main teams I use. I use this team. Uh, this team that I have also works for, um, TOT. It can actually clear 1 to 100 on auto. Uh, and this is kind of my, uh, TOT hard team, but I want to work on it. It needs more immunity. Uh, I would definitely switch out Entel if I had a better immunity unit. Maybe like if I had Cherry or something, and then I could put Snowy in front, and then like if she got hit, she can tank. I don't know. It's just, uh, it's all in theory because I don't have one, to be honest. So I don't have Cherry. I would love one, but I don't. So I work with what I got, and I had Entel. So Entel was, like, my go-to for the longest time. Uh, Entel was my first R Evo 6-star that I ever did. So I've had Entel for a long time, been able to test him out. He's a great unit, though. He helps keep uh, stuff like Burn off, which is very helpful, especially in Arena. And he's got some great uh, traits. His skills aren't as amazing. I mean, this, that's not entirely amazing. And uh, the cleanse is nice with the decent immunity. Um, I got a line check. <laughs> but, um, you know, I mean, this is just kind of the basis on uh, how I clear it usually. Now, if you notice, like, I can't dot the boss, but um, the cool thing about the team is that it gets rid of everything until the boss, and then when he gets hit with all these, like, big attacks, you'll notice, like, the boss starts outputting this, like, heavy damage, and what ends up happening is the uh, Entel trait kicks in, and the Fenzy trait is already active, but it does help a bit with reducing that damage that's uh, incoming there. But it, it still doesn't matter. Excuse me. Even if it uh, kills most of the units. Like, see, now it's only doing like 500. Um, wait till it'll see if it goes off again. Um, see, now it's like hitting 100. It should do his uh, super hit thing but it's not, but it's okay, and then Snowy healed up, so, I mean, it's, it's a nice team, um, I know a lot of people use the, uh, Light and Dark Giants, I never, uh, revoed any of them, or summoned them, so, I just kind of ended up getting some nice legends, I know Snowy got reworked, so, she's definitely, uh, a big help, uh, this is where Miho is still good, even though uh, the arena nerf happened where they made Snowy, or not Snowy, they made uh, Miho's uh, trait just kind of permanent.
but it ranges. So I still use Miho in Arena in certain occasions. There's certain units I, I'm like, okay, like I've noticed like no matter what, if I don't bring Miho, they kind of get like wrecked. So I bring Miho anyway. Um, that was kind of a crappy box, but that's okay. Usually you get some like three stars. So that's very helpful. They add up, especially when you know you're doing like B four and you're getting like one star gems. You're like, man, it's kind of crappy. Um, I have heard of someone who got a six star gem from a uh, B six. I couldn't confirm it, but uh, he was guilty. So, um, where's the unit I wanted to talk? Um, early game stuff like this, where they have low cooldown heals, very helpful. Um, unicorns, probably fire unicorn for the attack buff um, would be helpful, but that uh, decrease rate. Um, stuff like Kano, his first skill would be great, uh, be a solid tank. Uh, Haya, possibly, got a self heal. Very useful. Um, Dragon Revive in case your team is doing like entirely horrible. Um, maybe if you go for like a really high uh, nuke. Um, this was Pross when I was talking about like B4. Hitting that uh, cross formation. Be great nuke. Um, oh, that's who it was. It was uh, Sneakers. Okay. Uh, dark Unit Tank. He's a secret dungeon monster. Uh, a lot of people overlook him. I mean, I've seen guys use this guy in uh, TOT 100 when uh, nobody had, like, uh, an actual team yet. Ye every five hits. Um, the minions that all attack, that's pretty much guaranteed, you know, full team. I mean, that that's for the whole team. You get a shield that... It's pretty useful in, like, B6, Fort, and Mines. Uh, I know a lot of people don't exactly have, like, the best dark or light unit uh, when going into Fortress, especially if you don't have uh, Dynamis. Uh, you know, it can help out. The uh, evasion rate could probably help with stun. If you're trying to get that off, you're in the front row tanks. Uh, if you have two of them, uh, that's a possibility. Maybe you pulled Light Giant, but you don't have Dark Giant. You could probably use Sneakers get evasion on both and then you have the damage decrease rate on the one uh you know so it's just like different ideas uh increasing the defense i mean you'd probably stack up a bunch of uh i would say defense hp and like evasion evasion is always helpful uh you don't want those those stuns and cc's to uh to debuff you like that and make you uh, CC. If you can't move, you can't win, pretty much. <coughs> See, sorry about that. Grab some water. But, um, yeah, so there's the light and dark tanks. Uh, very good. And they're, uh, supposedly a lot easier than it is for me to come by them but it's definitely a good option <coughs> um sleepy is also a cool idea that i was thinking about i never got to try it but she um decreases the inflicted damage excluding yourself so you could use that as a front tank um maybe put sleepy on the bottom uh front corner and then put a tank on top, because usually in mines, they attack uh, the top units. In Fortress, the cool thing about Fortress is they attack forward. And so it's always they hit forward or front row. Um, so you can put things behind units and in the back, and they won't get hit. But in mines, they have um, attacks randomly. So it can hit units all over the board. 
So you can't have anything squishy if unless you're going for like a full on nuke team. And that's where you need uh, speed or CC to make up for the loss of speed and straight nukes with maybe a possible one reviver like Tart, Fumata, or like Fire Direct. Um, so those are some uh, ideas there. Hopefully that will help you guys out. Um, if you have any more questions, leave a comment below. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.